Uh, oh. March sometime. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Yay! <laughs> oh, look at that. I got bears. I got carrots. Yes. And you got bears on your blanket. Got Keep bears on. on the blanket. No booze in there. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't drink. Uh -oh. You guys are crazy. Okay. Here, you want to read your card? People are going to. Oh, you're on selfie mode. Yeah. Well, I'm going to show. Yeah. You're good at getting over my shoulder. You've done it a few times, taking up my stuff. Oh, that, <laughs> I remember the good old days. Yeah, I know what it's going to say in there. <laughs> That's because you will be two feet shorter soon. Doesn't mean you will love you two feet less. Oh, <laughs> Tom, Emmy, and the crew. When joints weren't something we complained about. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Huh? What, no kisses? I am not making out with Jackie. Bear. <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot. Of, a lot of changes are coming. They ain't one of them. <laughs> Back my camera. We're not kidding. Hey, be careful. I got you guys. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to yell, "Let go! Let go!" <laughs> It's all in love, honey. <laughs> <laughs>
I had my issues, you know, did, nobody really wanted to be <laughs> around us or around me. So uh, it's just kind of funny now that the roles are reversed. And uh, now in our part of life that we're doing van life, people just want to, you know, people think we're cool. We're the cool kids now, yes. We made it to the top. No, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny, but uh, when you think about it, it kind, of puts a, <laughs> kind of puts a soft spot in your heart, yeah. Um, and I don't know why we all sort of like get along. It's just that we seem to. We didn't fight it. We didn't push it. We didn't try to make it happen. It just came together on its own. Maybe with the help of God, I don't know. But uh, it came together. Happy it did. I mean, these guys are better than anybody I've known that I've known for years, you know, and they do have my back. Yeah, so, I was able to find a little bit out of breath because, well, I haven't been in a wheelchair in a long time and I haven't been on a bed in a long time and all I seem to be doing is sleeping and resting, which it's good. Uh, I'm trying to clean my, clear my mind of any negative thoughts and stuff. I do, right now as I speak right here, I do want to get back into van life. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. So, I do know that. I know I'll probably have to do it with the help of a whole bunch of people, but I will do it. And learning how to drive with no legs doesn't seem to be a problem because we've got our hands. Like I'm pretty coordinated because I, I busted up my right foot one time and I was using my left foot to drive, do the brake and everything else. Only problem I would have if I was driving a standard, but I'm not driving a standard. And yes, people have been asking and I've been watching. Yeah, probably my van might not be big enough for what I need. I don't know. Yeah, I just want to, I guess just want to take this moment just to thank everybody, friends, family. Brent, I know he's gone gone out of his way to help me out. He doesn't think it's a big deal, but you know, to me it's a big deal. I mean, other people have done their part too. There's been certain times that other people have gone their way, gone out of the way to help out. So, it's so everybody knows that. And I do feel the love that you are all sending me. Well, here we go. The windows aren't clean, but you know, <laughs> probably weren't thinking of using it for this. But the view is spectacular, better than the one I had in my hospital room. And here's the view from the other side, along with the little mountains and ocean thing going on there. Yeah, so everything will come together. I guess this is the rehab thing behind me where people come walk steps and stuff like that, but that won't be for me. <laughs> I don't think I'll need to walk steps anymore. At least not, uh, yeah. But anyways, yeah. I think of all the positive things that have come out, come out of this, you know, I don't have to buy shoes anymore. That's a good thing. No socks and no long pants or sweatpants, just shorts. I've always loved shorts, so now I can officially get in shorts and we can call them pants if we want, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I mean, that's great. I mean, you know, that's what you got to look at. You got to take out the positive from it. I mean, mind you, I'm going to have to get a, get myself a wheelchair. And I like to, you know, I'm thinking just like a van. I need a wheelchair that I can push like I am this one. And I also need a wheelchair. Well, not a wheelchair, but a part of a wheelchair that I can have some power on it so I can stick it stick it between the legs because I've seen other ones where they just stick them between your legs and um, 
and there's a battery and there's a front wheel and the wheel sort of drags your butt, butt around. That'd be cool. See, that's double duty, just like living in a van. Yeah. Maybe I'll be able to go out somewhere and take my poop bucket, too. I don't know. No, it's just, that's a bad joke. Yeah. But anyways, it's all fun and games, and uh, yeah. And I've had a long time to think about this stuff, so... Yeah, I've had a long time to think about this stuff. Because with diabetes, and I've, since I got type 1 diabetes, I've had it for 53 years, this day eventually happens. Now, it doesn't happen to everybody, though. I know that. You know, I know that. And if you, and if you get through life with type 1 diabetes and you haven't lost a body part, kudos for you, really. You know, but... I'm, it's taken me 53 years to lose a big body part, like two legs, so. But, oh, yeah, and also, I just remember. Aches and pains. Yeah, I'm going to have some pains after recovery because they just cut off two legs. Ah. However, my ankles ain't going to hurt. I don't have to check my feet every day. That's just a pain in the butt. And I don't have to try to put socks on because I can't bend that well. And I remember I've been talking about I have problems with my knees. Poof. Gone. No more problems with knees. So, yep. Well, that's what you got to look at. You got to look at the positives, the positive side of everything. <laughs> you know, and I'm not just laughing just like a fake laugh. It's like, you know, really, like, I mean, I, I'm settled with it. I've decided about this once they said, okay, we got a couple of options, one or two, and I said, I'll take the two, and the two is cut above the knee, and I took that option, because if I did the one, just cut half the foot, it would, might get infected again, then we gotta go through this whole process again, and I really don't want to do that. I'm gonna do something, do it right the first time, so we'll cut her, I believe my heart, my blood, everything will be better, less stress, and it'll work properly. Until then, love yourself, love others, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And wherever you go on this journey, please be safe and keep an upper lip. Mm-hmm. Yeah.